Welcome back, Towners. Today we're gonna make a cream cheese and spinach stuffed salmon. Let's get it. All right, guys. To start off this recipe here, we have a bowl. Uh, to that, we added in some cream cheese as well as some mozzarella cheese. We took uh, two cloves of garlic and chopped that up finely and added that to our bowl also. We then have some uh, spinach here. Um, we didn't have any uh, frozen spinach or anything. Uh, we had only had fresh spinach. So I basically took the fresh spinach and just sauteed that up uh, with a little bit of olive oil until it wilted down a bit. Um, just so that it'll be easier to stuff into the um, into the salmon. Um, just chop that up and added that to our cheese mixture as well. Then we season that up with some dill. As well as some capers. Uh, took out a, about a tablespoon of capers and chopped that up also. Added that to our mixture. Next, we season it up with some onion powder and kosher salt, as well as some black pepper. Then we took a fork and mixed all that up together. Um, wanted to add a little bit of heat to that, so we went ahead and put in some uh, crushed red peppers. I could also put in some of our homies, but um, I decided to just, just use crushed red peppers this time. Then we gave that one final mix to mix that up. Uh, I made sure that the cream cheese was softened before we did that. Um, I did leave the cream cheese out for about, about an hour or so, just to soften up a bit. That way it will be easier to mix everything together. Uh, now we have our salmon here. Uh, this is some fresh uh, salmon that we got from the fish market. Uh, this is some center cut salmon, uh, basically the center of the, um, of the flap. Uh, we took a paring knife and basically just cut some slits right along the inside, right down the middle, uh, stopping before we got to the thinnest part of the uh, salmon. Then we took uh, some spoonfuls, well, we used a fork, <laughs> we used a fork, so some forkfuls of, of our cream cheese mixture and stuffed uh, the salmon pretty much as much as we could. We, 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 we used all of it. We didn't have really, I just stuffed it. I could have did a little less, but I just used all of the cream cheese mixture that we had and just stuffed it all through. Um, and then once we uh, finished stuffing that, uh, we took some olive oil and poured that over top. We used our basting brush to paint that over top of the salmon just to basically get the coating everywhere for our seasoning to stick. Uh, we season that up with some of our Cooking with the Town 2 jerk seasoning. Uh, jerk seasoning has a little bit of spice to it and some sweetness uh, with it. Um, then we went ahead and flipped the salmon steaks over, repeated that process, put some down some olive oil, and painted the with our basting brush all over, and then also added in our jerk seasoning over top of that. Here's a picture of our jerk seasoning. Now we are headed to the grill. Um, finally broke out the grill, hadn't done that in quite some time. Um, it's just been real cold and I uh, didn't use the uh, charcoal grill. Um, would have gave us a lot more of a barbecue flavor, grill flavor with the charcoal grill, but um, we were losing light. And so just basically went ahead and opened up the gas grill and started this. Now I took some aluminum foil and sprayed it with some cooking spray so that way the salmon wouldn't stick to the, uh, to the grates while cooking. And uh, went ahead and placed the salmon on the grill um, i put down the foil because i did not want any of the cream cheese to leak out and just spill and go all over the grill because it's not char if it was charcoal i wouldn't i probably would have put it straight on there because the uh it would have fell down into the charcoal gr and, and burned off that way but with this being the gas grill, it probably would have stuck on the little metal pieces and stayed there for quite some time but um Here's a close up of how the steaks look after about being on the 10 minutes. We had, this is a four burner grill. We had it on for uh, all four, all four uh, pieces, all, all four burners, and it got up to about 400 degrees before we started cooking it. Here's just a close up of it at the 10 minute mark. Now um, we went ahead and flipped them over. Um, was trying to figure out how to flip them. I uh, was going to use some tongs, but it, it kind of stuck a little bit to the aluminum 
foil that we put down over top of it. So I went ahead and got a spatula and just worked my way underneath it to loosen up. The, it loosened up very quickly. It didn't stick that well. And uh, went ahead and slowly flipped them over, uh, trying to make sure I got all the stuff in to stay inside. And um, this is how it looked. Nice, good, crispy skin on the back side of it. Hey Towners, we out here fighting the sun. It's uh, it's, yeah, it's gone. So <laughs> we, sun's gone, but we out here trying to finish up the salmon up. Uh, let's see, you see the uh, some of the spinach is starting to squeeze out the sides over here. Starting to ooze out a little bit basically just pressed it back in, but we pretty much done here. We had about, trying to get up to 145, we had about 135, 140, so I might pull it right now and let it rest and see what it comes up to. Uh, but we're looking good. My son calls that my zookeeper hat. <laughs> but uh, here's a picture of what our salmon steaks looked like after they came off of the grill. Um, once they came off the grill, we did uh, just let them rest for about a good uh, 10 minutes and then we plated them up. We plated it with some asparagus as well as some salad. Um, the salad is basically a quick, simple salad of uh, romaine lettuce, uh, some onions, uh, cheese, and jalapenos, and just topped it off with some blue cheese dressing. Uh, now, here we are with a taste test that we had. Um, here's a close up of our salmon. Uh, you can see it's nice and flaky. Uh, I have some of the uh, cream cheese filling inside of it, on little pieces of that. Um, the salmon came out great, it came out excellent. Um, the the salmon steaks are that you get, well not salmon steaks, but the flanks that you get, normally the frozen ones that, um, they're normally really, really thin, so it might be kind of hard to do this, to stuff them. Um, if you did, you may want to, you, you may just, to be able to use just two pieces and just literally just put the uh, put the salmon just over it right over top of the of the uh, flesh part and then just put another piece on top and just kind of sandwich them together. You might be able to do it that way because sometimes they're so thin, but getting the fresh pieces nice and thick would be a lot easier to cut through. Um, here's another close up of it. You can see a nice color on the on the skin on the on the top part of the flesh that we had. Uh, the skin side came out really crispy. Um, if you don't like the skin. It's perfectly fine. Um, the, I left the skin on. I didn't peel it off this time, but it it literally uh, peeled off. Uh, I just took my finger on the skin and pulled in and, and all the whole piece of skin just came right off. It was nice and crispy from being on the grill, but it, it definitely loosened up from the uh, skin of the fish and just pulled right off. So if you don't want the fish, that's perfectly fine. You don't you can just peel it off. You just don't have to cut it or anything. Uh, but here's a uh, some close ups of what our uh, salmon look like. Um, you can see nice color from the grill, nice seasoning marks on it. Um, didn't have any grill marks on it because we, we had the foil over so we didn't get that real good contact with the with the grill grates, but came out perfectly fine and nice. Um, you can see some of the inside of the cream cheese stuffing. A little bit of it oozed out while it was resting, but uh, I, I stuffed so much in it that it stayed and, and, and a lot of it was still inside. Uh, the cream cheese mixture was very good. The um, cream cheese with the mozzarella, the seasons that we added to it, um, as, as well as the uh, capers and dill seasoning that, that we mixed in, that it was a nice combination. Um, I would definitely be doing this again, uh, possibly myself personally, just making it a little bit spicier. I love the spice, uh, but it had just the right amount of heat. My wife didn't complain with the red crushed red pepper flakes on it. Uh, but me personally, I would add some more jalapenos to it just for some more heat. Uh, you don't definitely don't have to do that, but that's just me. Uh, but this came out very nice. I would definitely be doing this again. Um, uh, adding some additional flavors, different different trying different combinations, different seasoning on top. The jerk seasoning brought a lot of uh, sweetness to it, and that played well. You can definitely mix that up and, and add what you like on top of it. Uh, but this was our cream cheese stuffed salmon uh, recipe that we grilled. Hope you guys like this. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to hit us up in the comment section below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. Enjoy. Please.
subscribe and join. Hey Towners, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. All ingredients and directions are listed in the description box below each video. And as always, thank you guys for watching.